I'm going to show you today how I use sketches from my sketchbook uh, to paint a little watercolour. So these are my sketches, figures and dogs on beach. Very simple, no real outlines, really just hatching. And this is the one I've decided we're going to do. I'm not going to put the figure in, I'm just going to concentrate on the dogs. We're just going to do dogs, sort of this style, but it is a Norfolk beach. So the colours I'm using, you'll notice, are very subtle. This is because it was an overcast, sort of dark day. So colour-wise, the colours I've used are this lovely turquoise. I just want to show you why I mix the colours I mix. It's to give an atmospheric background. With that, I mix autumn gold. And this together gives you this gorgeous kind of greeny, grey, turquoisey. It's a lovely, lovely colour. And I also add to that the blue. So the blue will give me these lovely darker colours for the beach. These sorts of tones and then the blues and the greens will give me the the colours for the water. So those mixed together are the three that I've used so far. Now, to paint the dog, I want the dog to be, I want it to be a brown dog, but I don't want it to look particularly bright. So I'm going to use the autumn gold. I'm using my pointer brush because it's fairly small. So autumn gold. I'm going to use a little bit of the ultramarine blue. So just let me show you that, how that looks. So there's the, there's the autumn gold. I'm using the ultramarine, which I've used in the background. And as I introduce that, it goes, well, it becomes this lovely sort of brown. So a combination of those two colours will give me the dog that I want. So into the autumn gold. That's the colours I'm going to use. And because I'm right-handed, I'm going to start with the tail. If I, if I was left-handed, I'd start with the nose of the dog. So I want it to be kind of a running pose, so nice and lively. So I'm just going to, to tap for the edge of the tail so it's got a little bit of movement in there. I am going to put some blue in that. I want it to be just a little bit darker. Uh, this back leg, sort of here. You'll notice I don't do an outline and then colour it in. I do it in a whole section back into this nice autumn gold colour. And those colours will mix on the paper. I don't want this to look like just one colour all over. I want it to look a little bit more interesting. So looking at my sketch, a little bit of movement in this. I don't. I, I, I kind of want it to look almost a little bit wobbly. I don't want it to look too neat because the dog's running. So just a little bit, it's got a lovely length on its back here. And then the ear, right, let's get into the blue here. Let's, let's make this quite a dark, lovely shape. Okay, let that join up. And I think I'm gonna do it sort of darker. Yeah, so I've got a little bit of blue in, in, in the brush. I'm just going to blend those together like that. So we've got a variation of colours, which is how I like to paint. Now then we've got uh, the back leg. I'm going to put a bit of blue into that for the back leg here. It's going to be a bit darker. Okay, then back into my autumn gold. This will be my front leg. It can come like so. So the pointer brush is rather nice for this because every time I tap I'm, I'm introducing just a little bit more liquid to the to the paper so tap 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 now the mouth and the head we've got I'm being quite careful here because that's the brow and then you see when I look it's, it's got a lovely open mouth there I kind of want to get that open mouth so that's the top jaw and then let's just do Lovely little bottom jaw. Don't overdo it because suddenly you'll get a strange shaped dog. So something like that. Oh, that's a dog with a bit of character, isn't it? 
like him. Now, at the same time, at the same time, I'm going to put the reflection on the beach. And when I look at it, it's little horizontal strokes. The sand is wet. This leg is raised. So the reflection and this one is raised. So actually, there's only two legs on the sand. So little horizontal strokes, just little, almost keeping, keeping the brush on the paper. Just a few little strokes like that on the dark sand. Do you know, I'm going to put some blue into that, make it a bit darker. Then we've got a little bit here on the beach lawn where this, this little shadow, it's actually reflections in the water. It's not a shadow, it's not sunny. Now, just a few, and then we've got a little bit here, look. It's just a stroke perhaps. And then maybe just, just a tiny little bit like so. And then a few more. And I'm moving the brush backwards and forwards to give the impression it's about where the tail is. And it's kind of a backwards and forwards stroke like this, just about there. And then I'm going to put some blue in because I kind of feel like it needs to be darker. So let's drop in the blue. It's still wet, look. It's still wet. Yeah, like that. Okay, and there we are. Running dog on beach. So I've used my sketch. I've done it in this sort of style. So there's a little bit of a shine on this. This sort of style, looking at the simple shapes from my sketchbook. Very simple, using the colours I've already used within the painting. Ever so easy. Have a go.